Hi everyone, my name is Cynthia. Let's talk books. And today I have my little wine glass. Isn't it adorable? I bought him at, where did I bought him? I think it's Pottery Barn. Was it Pottery Barn? I don't remember. One of those stores. But isn't he adorable? He is, by the way, my dogs are wrestling. So that's the noise you hear. But um, I just thought he was adorable and he got me the mood for the holiday spirit. So uh, here I am. Hmm. I'm drinking some white wine. And today I want to talk to you about the books that I want to read before the end of 2018. So before we get to 2019, I would like to have these books read. Um, so it's my end of the year TBR. Now, I've tried to be realistic because the next month, the next like four weeks are going to be super busy because it's the end of the fall semester. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a professor, so that usually extends to uh, a week after finals where I have to finish grading final exams. So uh, I, I, uh, that having to grade final exams is entirely my fault because I'm the one assigning final exams. Um, but anyway, I do have a nice long winter break, um, so um, I think I can fit these books in. Um, I am a very much a mood reader though. So some of these books, like if I'm not in the mood to read them, then I'm not going to read them. I'm not trying to torture myself with my reading. So, but um, these are the books that I'm most excited to get to uh, before the end of the year. So let's get started. The first one is a book that honestly has just been on my shelf for too long. And I'd like to just read it, get it out of the way. Um, I, this was featured in a video a while ago. Uh, let's see, I still have the receipt of when I bought it. Oh look, I bought it in 2015. Um, I like to get some of these older books that I have sitting on my shelf just out of the way, read, um, and reviewed. So this is Seth Graham Smith's The Last American Vampire. I bought this, I'm pretty sure right after reading Pride and Prejudice and Zombies because I was just, that was such a fun book that I thought, well why not? Let's read this one. But it, I'm pretty sure this is the sequel to Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, which I do have in Kansas, so, where, which is where my family lives. And um, so I'm like, should I wait and read that one first and then read this one? I'm not sure. We will see. The other book that has been um, in my shelves for a long time, and I've been wanting to read probably for twice as long because my roommate in grad school had this in her shelves and... Like, every time I saw it on her shelf, I, like, wanted to read it. But it's The Perfume Collector by Kathleen Tassaro. It's about, about, it's set in London in 1955. Uh, Grace Monroe is a fortunate young woman. Despite her sheltered upbringing in Oxford, her recent marriage has thrust her into the heart of London's most refined and ambitious social circles. However, playing the role of the sophisticated socialite, her husband would like her to be, doesn't come easily to her, and perhaps never will. Then one evening, a letter arrives from France that will change everything. Grace has received an inheritance from a mysterious benefactor, Eva d'Orsay, whom she's never met. So, so begins a search that takes Grace to a long-abandoned perfume shop in Paris's left bank, where she discovers a seductive world of perfumes and their muses, and a surprising love story told by invoking the three distinctive perfumes she inspired. Ava Dorsey's story weaves through the decades from 1920s New York to Monte Carlo, Paris, and London. But these three perfumes hold secrets, and as Ava's past and Grace's future intersect, Grace must choose between the life she thinks she should live and the person she, she is truly meant to be. So it's an international globe-trotting perfume book. Sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, next on the list is Sweet Francaise by Irene. Irene Nemirovsky. I have talked about this book several in several different videos. I'm pretty sure it has made it into several different TBRs this year. And I just, I need to read this book. It's set in World War II France. And it is a, a book that was controversial when it was uh, first published. Because it, um, as I understand, it deals with the topic of collaboration. And to the extent to which uh, France collaborated with the Nazi regime which is a topic I teach in my classes, I love, and I really want to read this one. The next book I have to read, because the premise, I mean, the title tells you the premise, is amazing, and 
Um, it just arrived when I, it arrived, I sent my sisters a picture of it and one of my sisters was like, oh my God, you need to review this book and if you like it, bring it to Kansas and so I need to read this in the next month <clears throat> so that if I did indeed like it uh, or if I do indeed like it, I need to pass it on to my sisters. Uh, so, <laughs> my sister the serial killer is what it's called uh, by, by Oyinkan Braithwaite. I hope I said that correctly. Uh, next up is part two of a series that I just started. So I read, this is book two of the All Souls trilogy. So uh, the first one was The Discovery of Witches. I read that over the summer and fell in love with the first like three-fourths of that book or first half of the book. Loved it. And uh, it's written by a historian and it deals with witches, vampires, and other kinds of magical creatures and I just I need to keep reading it like I've been wanting to in my head I'm like oh man I really need to go back and reread that book or read the next book in that series so I need to go ahead and do that the next book that I need to finish before uh, 2019 comes along is Certain Dark Things by Silvia Moreno Garcia this is a vampire book set in Mexico City I don't need to know more about it. I want to read this. I purchased it um, not that long ago and I just, I need to sit down and read it. Like really, just sit down and read. <laughs> uh, next up is Pride by E.B. Saboy. This is a Pride and Prejudice retelling but set in, where is it set in Brooklyn with Afro-Latinos and I am here for all of the Pride and Prejudice retellings possible and this one looks quite good so I'm looking forward to it. The next book on my list is a book that I really want to read because I've seen and heard really mixed things about it, Uprooted by Naomi Novik and I bought a few other Naomi Novik books that look really good as well but this one seems to be the most controversial one and I kind of want to, kind of really want to read it kind of to know what all the drama is about and all of that. Um, so let's see, this is a dragon book, yes. I don't know that much about it. It's in a set in a fantasy world and it's got dragons and some controversial things. Next up, I really want to read Vicious by B.E. Schwab. I have not read anything by B.E. Schwab, but she is a darling of the booktube world and I like to know what all the fuss is about. I've also seen a couple of people recently pick this one up and so it's increased my desire to read it. So I'm thinking, well, why not just read it? <laughs> and lastly, I have uh, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. So I do have a friend, a kind of a grad school friend slash maybe now more of an acquaintance who works in the publishing world and she had gotten her hands on the sequel to this book uh, early and she loved it. And so she recommended reading this book and um, she was a, an English PhD. So if she says it's good, I kind of trust her opinion that this is good. Um, so uh, again, I don't know that much about it other than um, a lot of people that, whose opinions I like and respect have enjoyed this book and uh, it's one of those books that I feel like even though it's a lot of pages, it's over 500 pages, um, I feel like it'll be an easy read <clears throat> partly because it's YA um, and partly because it does, it did sound like something like it's fun kind of romp about London. Ooh, Paris and Rome maybe as well? I don't know. Either way. Um, it sounded fun and I want to read it. So that's it. Those are the books that I'm hoping to get to before the end of the year. I have a lot more books I really want to read, but um, I, I really tried to, when I made this list, to set the books that I, I just, I need to get to, that I've been dying to for a long time, and to really make a distinction between the books I want to read and the books that like kind of have captured my interest the most. And these, I think, are the ones that um, have either captured my interest the most or, you know, a few of those at the beginning were books that, like, I would just like to get read and out of my TBR. So we'll see how this goes. I can't make any promises, but I know for sure I will make my Goodreads um, challenge goal. I had set it at first for, I think it was 50 books, when it was very clear that I was going to meet that goal 
I upped it to 75 and I think I will meet that goal without any problem because I'm at 72 now. Um, so yeah, Th these books will exceed <laughs> that goal, but I'm excited to read each and every single one of these books. Um, so if you read any of these, feel free to leave me a note down below um, and either recommend or not. Uh, these books that way I can kind of prioritize um, although as I said because I'm a mood reader I'm kind of just might be all over the place with these anyways thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one